Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts. My name is James, and welcome back to the Mega Mod Pack. And today we're starting off with a very special number of cactuses. Look how many we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll count this one, seven, eight, and then the ninth one just popped out. Uh, but welcome back, guys. It's been a little while since you've seen me. I do want to explain that real quick. Uh, I told you guys about a trip I'm actually taking a couple of episodes ago. Uh, and I said to you guys that pre-recording is always the most stressful thing to me. And it still honestly is. Uh, so what I've decided to do is, I've actually done a long mini-series over on Chippy Gaming. That's my main channel. I'm sure you guys already know that. Uh, but that's starting on Sunday, and that's going to have five long episodes. It's one big, giant adventure map. It's really, really good. Because I thought, if I rush the Mega Mod Pack, it's not the same, right? Because the Mega Mod Pack needs time in between episodes where I can, like, go grab us some ore or go get ready or read upon a boss or anything like that. And I won't have the chance to do that, unfortunately. Uh, so I don't know how many episodes you guys are going to get while I'm away. I'm going to be away for seven days. I know it sounds forever, but it'll go super quick. But you guys have got five really long episodes over on Chippy Gaming. So hopefully that's a compromise. But in today's episode, we're going to be doing the Astral Slime. I think I skipped this when I actually did my Calamity Death Mode series recently. I'm pretty sure I didn't do it, so I don't actually have a clue what it is. If I have a guess, it's kind of like a big giant rainbow slime, but it's not Slime God. Uh, who are you? Ebenezer Castelli. Oh, you sell potions? Now, why do you sell potions? What mod are you from? The Element Awoken mod. Wait, did I have Element Awoken in a previous episode? I feel like I didn't. I feel like maybe I've just accidentally activated Element to Woken. Well, guys, the series is now bigger. <laughs> we now have even more bosses. Uh, what is this then? For 30 seconds, damage is increased by 25%, but... Uh, oh. Wait, no, I feel like I've seen these. I don't know. That, that NPC, though, he's definitely new. So, yeah, we're going to check out the Astral Slime. So, we need an Astral Chunk. Ooh, look at that. Catastrophe Claymore. That actually sounds really cool. Like... A remnant of a specular nova. Go on then. Go on then. Why not? Let's make a new sword today. Right. Let me have a little quick look at my inventory. I'm rocking a melee setup. And I think that's because we've got the deadly executioner. But let's have a little look at this. Ooh. This also shoots out. And it's rainbowified. Which means it's my perfect sword. Right. I don't know where you fight this dude. So I'm going to go up to this area here. This is where I got for uh, Calamitous. Let's have a little look. Uh, it doesn't actually say. Maybe the uh, boss checklist will help me out. Use at night. Okay. Sounds cool. So, I did want to say before we actually uh, spawn this in. Uh, guys, thank you so much for uh, for picking up the shirts. They outsold better than I ever thought they would. And I said to you guys, if we hit a certain limit, I will give you guys a special video. You guys smash past that twice. Uh, so I'm going to do a really long episode when I get back from my trip. It'll be a really awesome one. I'm going to put a lot of work into it. Uh, I wish I could do it now. Unfortunately, I can't. But if you do get your shirt, if it's ordered to you, make sure to send me a photo. You can hit me up on Twitter at James Robert Ben with two N's or on Instagram at James Robert Ben with two N's. And uh, I would love to see, I would love to see your shirt in person. Uh, so do send me a photo, even if it's just like they're on the table. You don't have to be wearing it or like that. Um, but yeah, hit me up. My uh, my stuff's linked down below. So, with that out of the way, we're going to get into this. I haven't played Mega Mod Pack in a little while. I'm really excited to. I played so much vanilla recently, and obviously I did Overhaul on Chippy Gaming as well, and that was really good. Really enjoyed Overhaul recently. I've been having such fun with mods in Terraria. It's actually pretty crazy. Right. Okay, here she is. Here she blows. She's a pretty ugly one. Okay, and she teleports. Nice. <laughs> She's a pretty ugly slime, I'm not going to lie. Let's see how we do against that. So, this is using fragments from the Astral Biome. Oh, it's got new music, I think. I think Calamity's got a lot of new music recently. I'm so sure it has. I haven't heard it all yet, though. It does make me want to do a Calamity Season 4, though. I'm not going to lie. I really do love Calamity, so... <laughs> I think, I think you, you guys know that I'll probably end up doing a Season 4 at some point. Maybe we'll wait a little bit longer. Maybe for some bigger updates. But you never know. I think Terraria 1.3.6 won't be too long, honestly, at this point. I feel like it's I feel like it's long overdue. I feel like we're definitely going to get that soon. 
But uh, I might make a video for you guys about how to actually uh, still play modded when an update comes out. Because obviously, as you guys know, I don't stop playing modded when an update comes out. I just carry on. So I'll make a video on how I do that. This sword's pretty good. Let's swap to the one that we've been using for days. Let's see. Alright, this one's clearly better. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with this one. This is a hard mode boss, right? <laughs> or am I getting completely confused? It seems a little bit easy at this point. May have a second phase, but yeah, I definitely skipped this in my last series. It may actually just be literally be a mini boss. I wouldn't actually know because <laughs> I I get involved in Calamity, like I really pay attention to it, and then when I'm not doing my series, I completely fall off with everything I know about it. But it kind of makes for a better series next time around because I've got to learn it all again. There's a lot of things to remember in Calamity. There's a lot of things to remember in Terraria. When I was making my video the other day and I worked out how many items there are in Terraria, it's almost 4,000 items. So you think Calamity probably adds 1,000. Easy. Maybe even more than 1,000, guys. So, it's, it, it is. It's a lot of things to remember. And I've been playing Terraria a long time. A really long time. So, in the last episode, I told you guys about my car. I couldn't drive because my brake pipe was gone. Or it was going to explode. And they sent me a picture of it and it was going to explode. Uh, thankfully, it didn't explode. And I did get it fixed. And I've been all good. And I've been riding my electric skateboard around as a uh, as a replacement to a car. It's quite funny, actually. <laughs> Just riding a little skateboard around, picking it up in the shop. Uh, it's good. I do like my electric skateboard. Right, so we got some Astral Jelly. This is out of Reef Sprite. Uh, I believe it actually looked like a, a purple bottle. Kind of like Fab Sol's Vodka. That may be a guess. So it gives you Stardust. It also gives you just astral jelly. So I'm guessing I'm guessing that's full on mini boss right there. So let's see then. Stardust. Is this not what I use to actually make it? It is. So it's like a good way of getting more. I guess because uh yeah, fifteen for thirty kinda makes sense. I'm guessing as well because like the astral biome's only so big. So you can make some of the mega accessories. These these are really good. You could also make a star core. Uh, made the stars guide your way. So you need both of these for the star core. I might give that a go. I'm trying to think of what that is. If is. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, a worm. Let me have a little look. Star core. Does it show you what boss it is? No. I'm trying to think of what it is. Is it Astrum Deus? Astrum Deus, Astrum Deus. I think it is Astrum Deus. And if I remember correctly, I'm not very good at Astrum Deus. Is it part of... Have we reached the point yet where we do the three mini bosses? Or is that post Moon Lord? Oh yeah, it's here, isn't it? Providence, uh, Ceaseless Void, and Stormweaver. Right, I might actually be alright with this then. I think it's one of these that I get. Stormweaver, I think that's the one I'm really bad at. Comet Shard, so that's an upgrade to Mana. Miracle Fruit is an upgrade to Health. I don't think we have any Living Shards. Let's actually check that out real quick. Do we have any Living Shards? Living... Alright, we have nine of them. I don't actually know where I get them from, so... We won't be making that yet. And then the Lunic Eye. I didn't really like this when I made it in my last series, so I'm probably not going to make it. Right. Or did I like it? Hmm. Projectile damage is multiplied by all of your... Right, okay. Well, screw that. Right, we're going to make the Star Core and check it out. Let's see if we like it. I don't know if we will. We might do. Star Core. Uh, where are you at? Star Core. Here we go. And we can make a few of them as well, so that's actually pretty good. I don't know if you need to do this at night. May the stars guide your way. Right, that's a pretty good indication. Right, buff up. Well, we've already got buffs, so we're all good to go. Let's make it nighttime again. So, like that. Right, Astrum Deus. Oh, this is the one with all the little ones that follow you around. Oh, yeah, I'm not very good at this one. <laughs> I remember this now. Yeah, I'm really, really not good at this one. Please don't be bosses that despawn, because I'd be super annoyed. Yeah, if I remember correctly, uh, if you don't have the right uh, speed for this, it doesn't work, this fight. Or at least it didn't work. Not doesn't work, I'm sure it functionally works, but I mean like, I, I can't work, by mind. Oh, this is, this is pretty intense. They aren't gaining speed on me, I'm just going to try and like, I don't want to dive into a chasm. Okay, right, I'm going to need to, here we go. This is definitely going to be a very clicky kind of um, boss fight, isn't it? Okay, let's do this. I really do like Calamity bosses. They are really, really good. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, man. I was going to say, I'm so excited for my trip, though, guys. I really am. Uh, I'm just off on holiday for a week. 
uh, when I took my trip to New York, I said this previously, but when I took my trip to New York, it never felt like a holiday because it felt like a like a trip, like a real trip, because I was just constantly rushing to uh, to get everything done, you know, to see all the sights. But this trip is like I'm just gonna sit by a beach <laughs> for a week and enjoy it. And the cool thing is, uh, it's really good internet where I'm going, so I'm pretty pumped because I'm probably gonna uh, smash out some Fortnite on my Switch, uh, maybe play through Crash Bandicoot, maybe finish that. That's what I usually do on holiday. I sit by a pool, I read, I listen to music, I play on my Switch. That's what I usually do. Last year, I uh, I played through the entirety of uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It was really, really good. Let me tell you. Such a good game. I remember I finished it on the plane home. <laughs> it was that good. Okay. Right. This is actually going really, really well. Uh, I don't know what, what mod this sword is from, but it is really good. I, I'm pretty sure it's probably Universe of Swords mod. We'll see, though. Okay. I kind of want them to be a little bit closer. Yeah, when they when they die, I do want them to be closer, just so I can kind of see them die. Come on, buddy. Here we go. This is the last one. All right. And then this is the final, final one. The final form. This is the one that messed me up in the, in the last series, in death mode. If you guys remember that. Essentially, I didn't know there was a second one. And, um... And what actually happened was, uh, <laughs> it just kind of like swept out and just grabbed me. If I remember correctly, this one can despawn. So I don't want to make it despawn. This one gets faster and faster and faster. It actually has an attack pattern you have to follow. Okay, this is going well. This is going well. Okay, this this really is going well. I really like how this series, I didn't realize, well, I kind of set the, the standard for it when we started the very first episode, but I didn't realize it would be all about the boss fights, and I really, really like that, because I do like Terraria boss fights. I feel like when people want new updates, they always just want new bosses, and I do kind of agree with that, because boss fights are really fun, in all honesty. But I guess I set the standard for that when I started the first episode, and I was like, this series has over a hundred bosses, and then now it has over a hundred and thirty. And God knows how many it'll have by the end. I'm thinking about changing the thumbnail, by the way, guys. There might be a brand new thumbnail for the next episode, for episode 40. Because the Cactus Saga is over with. <laughs> no, it's not really. Uh, I was thinking about changing the thumbnail back to the, uh, to the old style. Uh, only because <laughs> we changed the thumbnail. And the Cactus Bros loved it, right? The Cactus fans absolutely love it. I love the new thumbnail. But we must have lost about, I don't know, maybe six, 7,000 people just by swapping the thumbnail because some people that watch casually don't know it's the same series. And I've had a few comments about it, so I'm debating swapping it back for a little bit. We'll see, though. We'll see. <laughs> but the Cactuses will live on in our hearts. I just can't wait to see somebody in person wearing the, the Cactus shirt. I know I will. I know it will happen eventually one day. It's so funny. I told you guys that the website that we actually used as well were promoting them to people that didn't actually know us. And they sold 15 cactuses to people that had never seen Chippy Gaming before. These were people that they targeted with adverts and everything. Very impressive stuff. Very impressive stuff. The cactuses, a nationwide event. Right, we're getting close. There we go. Hey, two calamity fights in a go and I don't die? That is what you call a successful episode, my friends. Right, let's open this up. So we got an Astral Bulwark. Taking damage drops Astral Stars from the sky and provides immunity to the God Slayer Inferno debuff. That's pretty good. God Slayer Inferno is like the one that you get during... Um, there's a few bosses that actually give it and a few little enemies, I think. There's actually a cool thing on the, uh, on the Wikipedia page that'll actually show you all of it. So that is that mini boss done. That was actually really good. I enjoyed that. Now I kind of want to make this, because I don't remember how good it was. Right, let's see. Living Shards. Where do we get these from? If I had to make a guess, I would imagine that they come from enemies in the jungle. But you know what? I can always Google it. Because Google is our friend, my friends. Right. This, <laughs> this is always so ghetto when I do this. Calamity, Living Shards. Hey, it's better than, a, than making a mistake. And you guys have to wait a long time before you actually find out what happens. 
Uh, they drove from Plantera. Right. Let's go do another Plantera fight and go get some more, and then we'll make the upgrade to our health. Uh, I don't exactly know which NPC sells boss summons. I know there's one of them. So it isn't this one. If I had to make a guess right now, I'd say it was the Witch Doctor that would sell me it. Where's the Witch Doctor? Let's put the Witch Doctor there. Okay, let's back away a little bit. There we go. Right, Witch Doctor, my dude. Are you selling Plantera bulbs? You are! Okay, awesome. Awesome. Right, and then, let's see, where's our temple at? Right, our temple's way over there. Alright, so it probably is just best going to our Plantera arena ourselves. What I was going to do is, I was going to try and use one of the potions that teleport you to the temple to go in to, to, to this hurry it up. But uh, if it's only, you know, if it's only a little walk. I don't mind. I don't mind. I guess I've just finished, you know, I, I told you guys about this uh, this adventure map I've just been playing. So I've just finished some vanilla uh, adventure maps and stuff. So I'm kind of used to the slower walking speed. So Calamity is like, well, this mega mod pack is kind of like a blessing because all the accessories are really fast. Right, let's cancel all these just so we get some more. Buff it up again. Let's get some of that full health. I can't remember what actual um, item we use for Plantera, but I'm sure this will be fine. Okay, here's Plantera, boys. All right, there you go. She's getting stomped. Oh, look at the health bar. I've completely botched the health bar. What's up with that? <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't think I've ever encountered that bug before. Okay. Here we go. This is this is a good fight. I like Plantera. I like Plantera a lot. They just need to fix the Plantera bulbs. They don't spawn often enough. Always does my head in. Right. Let's finish this, boys. Right. Got some living shards. We also got some bloom weave. A Vuvuzela. Way. Didn't hear any of these at the World Cup. And before you write the comment, I know that England were thrown out of the World Cup. <laughs> oh, I'm so gutted. I had such England pride during the World Cup. I really did. I got fully into it. I've never gotten fully into football in my entire life. So it's safe to say I was gutted. I was truly gutted. Right. Slap all of that in there. Let's see. What's it called? It's called Miracle Fruit. Sounds delicious. Right. You need some astral bars for that. Do I have astral bars? That's going to be one thing. Astral bars. Astral bars. Right. We'll go get some astral bars as well. Yeah. I was, I was so into the football this year and I really thought we were going to win it. It was gutting. But that's the furthest, like, I imagine a lot of you are from the States. In Britain, we haven't got that far in my entire lifetime. So it felt like, I don't know, it just felt like it was time. It was, it was time. <laughs> what are these? Astral heads. Oh, that one looks cool. I, I think you can get a summon that looks like an astral probe. Maybe? I might just be going mad. Maybe I've got madness from mods. <laughs> there are a lot of mods. Alright, that's enough. Okay, slap all that in there. Now let's make some astral bar- Wait, 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 wait. How do you make astral bars then? Astral bars. Why can't I make them? Am I just being dumb? Have I got my chunk? Oh, there you go. There you go. Always the case. That always gets me. <laughs> Not having them in the right uh, part of my inventory. Right. We've got eight. Right, let's put that in there. And then let's make some fruit. Uh, what is that? Life fruit lantern. Increases life regen when nearby. <coughs> That's really cool. God, why can't I make miracle fruit? What am I missing now? Right, so I've got my bars. You need five bars, five life fruit, 20 stardust. Is it the life fruit? It's the life fruit, right? Let's check. It's the life fruit. Right, I'm going to go get life fruit, do a little jump cut, and I'll be right back. All right, I got all of the life fruit that I need. I actually got eight because I remember that you got to make the blood orange as well. Right, so I'm going to slap that in there. I'm going to make my miracle fruit. So fruit, here we go craft that up and then I don't think I can use it I do think I need to make the blood orange can I make the blood orange uh, I might have to make this tomorrow blood orange what is it made of 
Blood Orange. It's made of life fruit, essence of chaos, helium, cinder, souls of light, and souls of night. All right. I'm trying to think of what I haven't got. So let's check. Maybe I used all my essence of cinder and... No, so I've got helium, chaos, and cinder. And let's check my souls as well. Souls of... I've got fright, night... Oh, there you go. I need one more soul of light. All right. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can actually take it. Oh, you can. Oh, I didn't actually know you could. I always thought it was a. Uh, I always thought it was tied to like what you've already done. The bouquet. Oh wow, look at that! What's that from? The Exodus mod. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. <laughs> I really like that. I'm gonna get rid of this uh, Vuvuzela. Look at that. What's the damage? Thirty-five. That seems a little bit weak. I'm not gonna lie. But it looks very cool. I'd like to test this out on something at some point. Man, imagine getting a, a bouquet of flowers like that. <laughs> I think that'd set my hay fever off uh, pretty bad. Right, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like rating. I'm really sorry if there aren't as many videos as you expected while I'm away. Uh, but like I did say, you actually have a bunch on Chippy Gaming. So just head over there. It's all the same thing, different names. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.